The general fuselage cross-section type is a very versatile and useful cross-section in OpenVSP, and it can be found here in the type drop-down menu right underneath the rounded rectangle. Now, you have access, of course, to the height and width, just like with any other cross-section type, but you also have access to a variety of other parameters that make this a very versatile shape. If we adjust the maximum width location, you can see we can set this to be either above or below the horizontal center line, which is zero. So if we come up to something like oh, 80 or 100% or value of one, that puts the maximum width location right in line with the top of this component. And because we've set it to have some strength and some lofting up at 90 degrees from the maximum width location, the top of this component is actually going to be slightly taller than the height that we've set. If we bring that back down to about there, it's got a bit more of a, a natural shape. We can also adjust the top and bottom tangent angles. Now those correspond to the angles of the top side and the bottom side of the maximum width location here. So notice if we go from 90 and bring this down to something like zero-ish, it points directly inboard. And if we click on this, note that we can go from minus 180 to 180 degrees. So if we bring this all the way back to minus 180, notice that it's pointing outboard, and you can make this go in a complete circle all the way back around to 180 degrees on the other side. So you have a lot of control over how this angle behaves. And it's the same story for the bottom angle. Now notice here we have a sharp edge because we have two different angles on these sides. If you want to soften that a little bit, all you have to do is give it some corner radius. And what corner radius is going to do is try and apply a radius that fillets in between these two lines. When we're talking about the top and bottom and the upper and lower tangency strength, we're talking about the top strength, the bottom strength, and the upper and lower strength here. So if we adjust top strength, notice that it takes that top line and it tries to push that angle a little farther out and it splines between these two points the way that it's supposed to. Bottom does exactly the same thing. And you can make this very small, even to zero if you want, but remember, try not to set zero tangency strength. Set it to be something like 0 0.001 and you're still fine. If we come to the upper and lower strength, notice that the upper side is simply going to push this angle further along and these two curves will spline together like that. And then the lower side also pushes the tangency of this angle further out and this curve is splined accordingly. Now, you might wonder why you really need this, where it's really useful aside from creating really interesting shapes. Well, if you turn on something like a background image where you're trying to match a known cross-section type, and in this case, I've changed the line color to red so I have a nice contrast, you can see quickly how useful it would be to set this cross-section up in a way that you can match this up. So I have the height and the width basically set, but my tangent strengths are a little bit wrong. So what I wanna do is give this some top strength and some upper strength to try and recapture that corner. And similarly, I'm gonna try and push this down until I capture that radius down there. Now it looks like I need a little bit more bottom strength to beef that out a bit, but you know what? That's not too bad. So, what I could probably do is come back to this angle and give it a bit of keystone by making the top angle something like 93 and the bottom angle 87 if I really wanted to nitpick. But this is pretty darn close for what it is that we're trying to do. And we've essentially recovered that fuselage section there. So the general fuselage section, again, is a very useful and powerful cross-section type that can recapture or even create a variety of different shapes.